Hey, today I'd like to talk a little bit about something I've been seeing a lot of questions on uh, for Surface devices, and that is, what can I use to charge my Surface device on the go? And I have a couple recommendations that I'm very happy with. Um, the first one I want to talk about is this guy right here. So this is the Power Add. It's a 100 uh, watt output device, and it's an almost 100 watt hour battery. It's a 26800, um, which if you do the math, that may, means it's a 96.48 watt hour battery. But it's uh, it's pretty neat. I really like it. Um, uh, this is a perfect companion for something like a Surface Book because um, the Surface Books, uh, ever since the 2, uh, can charge on power delivery USB-C at uh, 100 watts. So uh, that lets you charge that device super quickly. Uh, the other really cool thing about this one is you can actually charge the battery bank and power uh, your device using the 60 watt output. So this one is really nice. It's fairly compact. This is the largest size battery you could travel with. Um, it is kind of heavy though. It is pretty big to be porting this around. It's kind of a double thick device. Um, so I would recommend this uh, if someone needs a full charge on their Surface Book 3. Um, this is a great device. Uh, I took it camping and it's actually amazing. You've got uh, two extra USB ports, an 18 watt and a 15 watt. Um, and this thing can power uh, up to like uh, 148 watts out of all the ports together. So it, it actually can output that full 100 watts. I've measured it. Um, and I have also measured uh, how many times I can charge that big boy Surface Book 3 15 inch and uh, it can do it uh, one time so you basically get one charge out of this thing it's it's a uh, pretty bulky um, but really nice it fits in my bag really nicely and doesn't take up too much space for me so um, that's what I'd recommend for if you have a Surface Book 3 now, if you're traveling light, um, you don't want something that is ginormous and bulky, uh, then my recommendation would be this guy right here. This is uh, just slightly smaller than uh, previous generations of USB-C power delivery ports. And this one right here is the uh, RAV Power PD Pioneer. It will charge at 60 watts. It's a two port power bank and it's a 20,000 milliamp hour, uh, which converts to something like this is a 74 watt hour battery versus that almost 100 on the other one. But just as a size comparison, um, you can see it's a lot less bulky, this RAV power, and it has a you know, pretty good power density. It's got two ports instead of four. Uh, this is both the charging and a USB-C power delivery port. So, um, yeah, it's a little more limited on features, but this is a great pairing with something like the Surface Pro 7. It's really light. You could charge uh, the Surface Pro 7 uh, over one time. You could charge it completely and still have a little battery left over. Um, if the power add, if you want to use that with a pro with a pro seven or something like that, uh, you could actually charge a pro seven almost twice. I would imagine, uh, just knowing the watt hours of the batteries that we're dealing with. Um, but it also has some some cool features. Uh, it's got tempered glass screen here, and um, this is the uh, this is the only thing that I've ever been able to find um, that actually pushes. A really fast charge rate 100 watts I've seen it do it on that surface book 3 uh, this RAV power is a, is a newer uh, skew and before that they only had a 45 watt so one thing I will note about this RAV power and it happens on the power out as well but uh, there's just way more power in it in general but those 60 watts will slow down as the battery gets drained a little bit um, but uh, 
60 watts, like your Surface Pro 7 is not even going to pull 60 watts when charging. It might when you're charging and using the computer. Um, so you don't really need more than that. Uh, the 60 watt brick is great for a Surface Pro 3. Uh, the size is really good. Um, in fact, I like keeping this one in that slot of my bag and uh, it, it, it is barely noticeable. It's very light. Um, so yeah, I'll leave some descriptions in the uh, link of this video. But these two devices are really great. They do work with power delivery. That's the main thing you want to look for is a, a power brick that actually supports power delivery. So anyways, I uh, hope this is helpful and we'll see you on the next one.